In this episode of the Ireland Travel Vlog Series, we will be checking out Limerick and Adair Village. Here we are driving to the Limerick City Center to King John's Castle. Of note, we did have to make reservations online to visit, so make sure you book ahead of time. Fortunately, the car park wasn't too far from the castle and we were able to walk to it easily. King John's Castle is a magnificent fortress nestled in the heart of Limerick City. With a rich history dating back to the 13th century, this iconic landmark stands proudly on the banks of the River Shannon, commanding attention and serving as a testament to the city's medieval heritage. Yes, it's the same King John from Robin Hood. Back then, he was about collecting taxes. Now, it's about paying sales taxes on the souvenirs at the gift shop. The castle's imposing stone walls and towers evoke a sense of grandeur and strength. Its strategic location, overlooking the river and the surrounding landscape, speaks to its historical significance as a stronghold and defensive structure. The castle's architecture seamlessly blends Norman and Celtic influences, creating a unique and captivating atmosphere. You can also walk outside of the castle. They have demonstrations for visitors consisting of sword fighting, archery, and being taken to the gallows. Can't visit the castle without climbing the steps. For those seeking a panoramic view of Limerick City, the castle's towers provide breathtaking vistas of the surrounding landscape. From atop the battlements, visitors can admire the picturesque River Shannon lush greenery, and the vibrant La Cityscape, gaining a newfound appreciation for Limerick's beauty and charm. One last view of the model of the castle and its scale to the city. You can appreciate its strategic location on the River Shannon when it comes to invasions. After our tour of King John's Castle, we walked around Limerick. Here is the River Shannon up close. On the Thurman Bridge is the Treaty Stone, which is the rock that the Treaty of Limerick was signed in 1691, marking the surrender of the city to William of Orange. We made a stop by St. Mary's Cathedral, which is 850 years old. walked around Limerick City. I was taken back to the scenes from Frank McCourt's book, Angela's Ashes. Yes, this is the very Limerick that he came from. Another famous person from Limerick, Richard Harris. You may remember him as King Arthur from Camelot, or more recently, the original Dumbledore in the first two Harry Potter movies. After a day of exploring the historical city center of Limerick, it was time for a modern dinner. Let's clank our creme brulee for a jam-packed day in Limerick. Step into a world of enchantment as you enter Adair Village, a place where time seems to stand still and beauty knows no bounds. Nestled in the heart of the lush Irish countryside, the picturesque village will capture your heart and ignite your imagination. It is worth a day trip from Limerick. Right away, I was captivated by the thatched roofs. I felt transported back in time. It's a shopper's paradise in Adair's charming boutiques and craft shops. 
From traditional Irish crafts to contemporary designs, you'll find unique treasures to take home as a memento of your unforgettable visit. Our first stop was checking in at the Adair Heritage Center where we bought our tickets to the tour of Desmond Castle. The tour wasn't going to start until later in the afternoon, so we killed some time by exploring some more of the village. We took a quick walk along the river walk and marveled at the lushness of the greenery. While we were at it, we explored the Augustinian and Trinitarian abbeys. to return to the Heritage Center to board our van to Desmond Castle. It was a short ride up the road, but at least we were able to get in some more views of this charming village. Built in the early 13th century, Desmond Castle was a fortress reflecting the Norman architecture. It had belonged to the Earls of Kildare for 300 years until it fell to the Earls of Desmond and hence the name. The tour was informative and I got to learn a lot more about castle warfare such as this Portocolis. What used to be a moat is now a wildflower garden. Tree, which has medicinal purposes today as tamoxifen, a breast cancer chemotherapy. That one hour tour went by quickly and so now we had the rest of the afternoon to do some more exploration. I got into the shopping spirit and walked into a millinery to check out its fascinators. Sorry, couldn't film in there, but I later ended up buying one when I got back home to the States. This is seriously something from all the fairy tales I read as a child. One more attraction to check out is the Adair Town Park. Here are the washing stones, which is where the women would wash clothes and catch up on gossip. It was a different kind of afternoon tea. There's more to Adair, such as the famous Adair Manor, which was blocked by a large wall and shrubbery, so I could not film the exterior of it. For now, we'll enjoy the view of these charming thatched cottages for free. We grab lunch next to the Heritage Center before heading back to our hotel in Limerick. Whether you're seeking a romantic getaway, a family adventure, or a retreat to nature's embrace, Adair Village offers something for everyone. <laughs>